Hello everybody, it's Kyle Van Vorst with Vorst.com and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top performing email template. Let's dive right in. Alrighty everybody, I get questions about email templates all the time and I get it, they're fun, they're exciting, also, it's a lot easier than cold calling, let's be honest about that. And I'm one of these people who, I'm a firm believer of testing. You gotta experiment, you gotta let the data tell you what works the best. So, I don't just use a bunch of the same templates, I'm constantly changing. And right now, I've stumbled upon one that's working really well for me today. And I'm gonna share that one with you, try to copy it for your own business, and and let me know if you're having success, but also if you change this at all, send it to me so I can test it too, and we're gonna kinda go through this journey together. So let me pull up my top performing email template right now on the screen. So boom, here we go. Here it is. This is my number one top performing email template. I'm gonna break it down. Um, the I play with the subject lines here. I'm always over 60%. I think right now I'm a 73% open rate. And I'm a big fan of these two word subject lines. So I'll use sales team as a, um, as a subject line that gets people to open it. Um, you know, growth channel, like these weird, just internal sounding email subject lines. And it's been working really well for me. But I mostly wanna talk about the body of the email. So first name, I thought you might find this interesting. The reason why I do that is because it builds some curiosity to get them to open the email if they're looking at the preview, but also it gets them to read the next line. They may ignore it, but from my experience, most people are curious enough that they, they look at the next line. And when they click on this email, they can already see a spreadsheet below. Now, I reach out to uh, um, founders and CEOs of companies. They love spreadsheets, <laughs> or maybe they hate spreadsheets, but they're in them all the time, so they're kind of forced to love them. So I'm showing a spreadsheet here and they're, they're colorful. So the next one, next line here, this is some data from one of our clients before we started working together. And then I show them the data, the total number of deals, how many deals were created, the percent of deals, deals is 26.67%. They have no idea what they're looking at. Let's be honest. This is a sheet that we use for, for tracking the performance of the companies we work with. It's a super complicated sheet. This is one little part of it. And the only thing that they can make sense of is 15 deals is the goal. Maybe they figure that out. Deals created only four, and then they see a bunch of red or dark orange. That's not a good color. So the idea is I'm showing, hey, things aren't working out right now. And then you go to the next line and it says, here are the results for three weeks of working together. And everything's green. And it looks really nice and they see that that deals created went from four in the first one up to 21. That's a huge increase. This is why I call this email template the extreme weight loss email because you're showing that before and after and the before doesn't look so good, but the after, woof, we're looking hot, right? So the next line, then we go, as you can see, a huge improvement, just to hammer in the obvious. And also not every, you know, people are skimming and yeah, I wanna make it pretty clear that there's an improvement there. <clears throat> now, here's the next line that I think is actually pretty important. I won't pretend to know your business. So I wanted to reach out and schedule a time to have a conversation. I think it's incredibly important, especially when you're dealing with business owners, to have empathy and show like, look, I. I don't know your business. I'm not telling you that this is gonna be a perfect fit right off the bat here, but I'd like to have a conversation to determine if this is worth your time. Uh, the, the next sentence here, I'd like to offer to do an analysis that'll identify the biggest levers to pull to improve your SDR team. So in this email, we're talking specifically about SDRs and a big part of our sales process is we look at their existing sales data and we do a gap analysis based on where they should be and um, where they are today and give them the financial impacts of improving that area. <clears throat> it's a great part of our process. People really like it. It provides a ton of value too, which is why I wanna highlight it here. And then the last one here is, is this something that's top of mind for you now? Simple, it's the call to action. I don't put a calendar link in there. It doesn't work well for me, so I don't do it. Um, most people doesn't work well, by the way. If it's working for you, great. The other thing here too is, I just wanna get, Yes or no. 
I don't need, I just want a response. So making it really easy to respond to with a simple call to action has been working well for me. And then I say, talk soon, Kyle. And that's because Jeremy Donovan, uh, LinkedIn, he's the uh, VP of strategy at uh, Sales Loft. He did an analysis and talk soon, he said, converted the best. I don't know how true that is, but I like how it sounded. So I started adding it to all, all my emails and I don't know, it works, so <laughs> I just keep it there, I like it. Uh, anyway, that is my top performing email. My, um, totally automated by the way, I get it. I, I Look, I run a company, I have a crazy calendar, I don't have time to personalize a bunch of emails. Um, we can argue that all day, but I get a 9% response rate, 7% positive response. So uh, not bad by my numbers, especially for an automated email. I'm sure if you pack some personalization into this, you could get those numbers way up. I just don't have the time, so I don't do it. This is by far my most, uh, my highest uh, converting email that I have so far. I'm playing with some other stuff that I'll show you in a different video. And uh, as I'm collecting data and discovering new things, I'll, I'll send it your way. Hopefully you've, uh, you've enjoyed this video. If you did, like and comment. Let me know if you like this type of content. I'm happy to break down and go through some things that are working really well for me or maybe some other people, if that's the type of content you like. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll talk again soon. Oh, 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 oh,